Welcome all. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. What is the use of listener's annotation in TestNG? Let me answer. What is the use of at the rate listener's annotation in TestNG? We use listener's annotation of TestNG in order to implement in order to implement listeners at class level. This is the answer, guys. Okay. If you have to implement TestNG listeners at class level, then you have to use which annotation of TestNG at the rate listeners annotation. Now let me practically demonstrate how to implement listeners at class level by using this at the rate listeners annotation of TestNG. So here is some sample project, guys. So in the sample project, somewhere here, we'll create uh, a new class. I'll name this uh, class as demo class. You can name it anything, guys. Click on finish. Inside this class, I'll create some test engine test method. So first of all, I'll create a method public void test one. Okay, I'm giving some random name to this method also. Now I'll convert this normal method into a test engine test method by providing at the rate test annotation. For the mouse, and import this test annotation from test engine. Done. After doing that, here I'll write some sample Selenium automation code, guys. I'll firstly write web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup then i'll write web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver then driver dot manage dot window dot maximize if i have to import anything i'll import it okay from the selenium done then driver dot get here i have to provide the application url let's say this application url i have to use tutorials ninja dot com slash demo then after that I will do some assertion, guys. Test and assertions I will use assert dot assert equals assert dot assert equals uh, scroll something until you see the string comma string kind of thing. Just scroll, guys, and import it from test and guys, not from J unit. Okay, assert equals string actual string expected from test and Select it. Done. Here, actual thing I will I will be writing as driver dot. Let's say I want to do some assertion like I want to go to this application page and I want to verify the title. Okay, I want to assert this title, your store title. So for that, how to get the title of the page guys, current page, driver dot get title is a command. So this is the actual title. What is the expected title? I'm expecting the title to be your store title. Done, the assertion is done. Now, after this class is ready, after this class is ready, let's create another class. Right click uh, new say class and here give some other name like uh, listeners, okay? Listeners demo class. Any name you can give us, I'm just giving listeners demo. Click on finish and implement, okay? This class should implement an interface known as ITest listeners. ITest listener. So how can this class implement? By using the keyword known as implements keyword, okay? Listeners demo class implements which class, which interface? ITest listener interface. I test listener. I test listener is a predefined interface of test engine case. I am making this particular class implement the this particular interface of predefined interface of test engine. Done. After doing that, we have to we have to override some methods of this I test listener in this particular listeners demo class. How to do that? For that, select source and go to override implement methods. And uh, from this I test listener, these are the methods, guys that you can override in this listeners demo. I will choose few methods, guys. I don't want to go with all the methods, okay? In real time, you will go with uh, most of the methods, but uh, for now, I'll choose only one or, two, one or two or three methods, okay? On test start, on test success, on test failure. These three methods I will be overriding, okay? And click on okay. Fine, remove all these comments and uh, auto-generated code inside these methods for three of the methods. And for the first method, this is all about on test start, okay? So this listeners, okay, this listen, we are implementing the listeners here, guys. Okay. These methods are listening to this code. Okay. This test and test, this listener methods, okay, this listener methods are listening to this, what's happening in this class. That's what we have to do, guys. So for that, we are implementing this listeners here. Okay, listener methods. So this result, I'll say system dot out dot print ln. This result, okay, whatever the result is there, high test result result dot get name name of the method plus okay test started 
when you run this particular code guys when when you run this particular test ng test okay when you run this particular test ng test this method will listen to that and when it is started it will print out in the output saying that okay that particular test has started executing okay started executing now when this particular test ng test is okay when this particular test ng test is successful okay in case of successful this will run guys okay this listener method will run that is it will print out whatever you want result dot get name this will get the name of the test that is running okay the name of this method the test one it will take plus okay test has successfully executed okay is successful also we can write okay is successful as as, as uh, okay is successful is also fine yeah fine uh, in on test failure we can write something like system dot out dot print ln this result dot get name that is the name of the test okay test has failed has failed like this okay like this you can implement the listener methods in this uh, class after that what we have to do is we have to connect okay this listeners we have to connect with this particular class guys by using which annotation we can connect at the class level i want to implement the listeners okay i want to implement this listeners at the class level so for that guys before this class okay before this class right at the rate listeners over the mouse import listeners annotation from test ng okay at the rate listeners annotation of test ng is used for what purpose if you have to implement the listeners at the class level okay if you want to if you want this listeners to be listening to this particular test method at this class level then you have to implement you have to provide this at the rate listeners annotation here and provide the circular brackets here and inside this you have to provide the name of this class in which listeners methods are there copy this listeners demo and say dot class that's it done okay now everything is connected guys now when you run this demo dot java okay when this particular test has started executing this particular method will automatically run okay because this method is listening to this test method similarly when this particular test passes okay when this particular test passes then which method will be automatically invoked on test successful if this particular test fails which method of this listeners will be automatically invoked on test failure will be automatically invoked okay we'll see that okay we'll see that if based on the output we can guess which method got invoked from this listeners from the at this class level okay we are implementing this listeners at which level guys class level we are implementing for implementing the listeners at the class level we have to use at the rate listeners annotation of test ng that's a simple answer guys this is a proof okay this is a practical demonstration now let me run demo.java right click run as test ng test so in the output you see guys test one test started one of the method of the listeners already got invoked when the test has started after the test is successful you see test one test is successful these outputs are coming from which methods guys listener methods you see on test start is invoked automatically on uh, on test successful on test success is also invoked successfully right now what i will do is i will intentionally fail guys okay here i will give something like uh, arun or something my name i will give okay if i run now what happens this assertion will fail that means this particular test will fail which listeners method will be invoked now on uh, on test failure will be invoked okay so this should be printed the name of the test that is test 1 test has failed should be printed in the output this time okay when i run this here test 1 test has failed should be printed instead of successful let's see that let's uh, see whether that is happening or not right click run as test ng test test 1 test started one of the method got invoked listener method now after this got executed now go to the output and see you see test 1 test has failed right test 1 test has failed the proper listener method got invoked so hope guys you understood how to implement the listeners at class level and why we have to use at the rate listeners annotation of test ng for implementing the listener set class level so this is the answer for this question guys so that's it guys thank you bye